people think we're crazy. The first time we moved into our self-converted van, we drove straight from our home base in Toronto, Canada, all the way to Baja, Mexico. Our next trip, we pushed it further and drove over 4,000 miles all the way to Alaska. This time, we're eager to get back to Baja as quick as our 20-year-old van will let us. To get there, we'll have to drive all the way across America. We definitely get a little stir crazy, <laughs> but thankfully we get lucky with a little surprise. Okay, I feel like we have been leaving for weeks now, but we are actually packing up and leaving tomorrow morning bright and early. And nothing is more exciting to us right now than getting this thing in livable shape. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this again. <laughs> Okay, that should be good enough for now before we pack it in with food. yesterday and be prepared it kind of caught up with us and I felt a little bad about it at first but then I'm realizing it's not like packing for a regular trip like you're packing an entire house so it takes a lot longer than you anticipate plus we did a lot of running around so the van is a mess it's not making me feel good because an organized living space is an organized mind. So I am packing things away while Maddie drives. <laughs> wait, 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 it's yellow. It says proceed after the, the car oh, okay. goes. <laughs> right? Yellow is also slow. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Good. How are you? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we're driving through the states oh. and into Mexico. How many pets do you have? One. A dog. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and turn off the vehicle for me, please. Send me the keys. Is it back unlockable? Yeah. You I, just... I hope nothing falls out on you. What's that? <laughs> I just hope nothing falls out. We have like weights that are pretty close to the oh, back. Okay. Uh, food? Yeah, we have some food. Do you have any, uh, like, raw chicken? No. Vegetarian. It's our security. Alright, have a great day. Thanks, Thanks so very much. much. You too. Okay, you did good. Just relax. Lie down. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Southbound, baby! I got sweaty armpits! <laughs> I am just, I'm in full denial, but I kind of feel a little bit of a cold coming on. And I'm just trying to nourish my body and rest, but it's annoying because I just want to feel good. I am gonna have my element right now because not only do you need to make sure that you're getting your electrolytes when you're feeling good, but you most definitely need to be getting them when you're feeling bad. And I just feel like also in these long drives, I'm maybe subconscious not drinking a lot of water so that I don't have to pee often but that's where element comes in just get this little pack in my water and then I'm gonna have all of my electrolytes in one shot Ugh, being sick is the worst mm. 
I just love that Element is science back. It has exactly the ratio that your body needs of sodium, magnesium, potassium, with none of the junk, no sugars, fillers, artificial sweeteners, nothing. Getting enough electrolytes and maintaining our hydration is something that so many of us overlook, especially when you're under the weather. So if you want to stay hydrated, go to drinkelement.com slash Tal and Mads. If you use our link, which is in the description of this video, not only will you be supporting us and our channel, but you will receive eight free single serving packets with your order. Cheers. <sighs> the excitement is starting to kick in. It always takes a little while when we're back in the van because we are moving so slowly. But I'm so excited. I love when there's something so new ahead. Even though we've been to Baja before, it does feel like it's still going to be so new. We'll go to new places, new people. And should I tell them about tonight? Yeah, like how this just serendipitously happened. Something else very exciting is that we just so happen to be crossing paths with two of our favorite people. Woo! The stars are aligning because our two friends are going in one direction or coming from one direction. We're coming from the other and we are going to be crossing in Nashville at the exact same time. So we figured we might as well make the most of it. Tally and I have never spent time in Nashville. Well, I've been once, but it was a long time ago. And we're all going to check out the music scene, have some food. It's gonna be a good time. Good morning, everybody. I'm putting my sweaty socks on after I wore them at the gym already. Don't laugh at us, we are at a hotel. We ended up booking one on our points late last night because we just needed to make the most out of our one night in Nashville. And we both worried too much to leave Bowie and the van in a new city for hours. I think- So here we are. Can I say? We are normally pretty okay with leaving him in the van once he's in once he's used to being in yeah. the van and he's realized it's his home, but mm -hmm. first night he was still kind of like... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff <clears throat> going on, a lot of new stuff. And he loves hotels. Yeah. So we basically got this king-size bed for Bowie and he <laughs> loved it. We had a fun night out with Jazz and Crystal. We went to the gym this morning. It was such a nice reset. I feel like yesterday when we got up so early, I was just like tired and out of it the entire day. And now, I'm ready. And above all else, Nashville is amazing. Yeah. So I don't think we would have been able to enjoy it, like you said. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to relax last night. Bowie just would have been on our minds the entire time. Now we were able to go out, like see Broadway Street. We went to some bars, listened to some music and loved it. So it was just like the best, the best option for us. We're gonna go say goodbye to our friends and get back in the van. <laughs> Check out whose truck is valet parked right beside the van. <laughs> they look so cute together. Oh my God. Imagine having two dogs in here. This would be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Where the wind blows somehow cold in June. She's a beauty both day and night. It's a unique set of circumstances. Once a stranger and now a friend I only know the miles and the chances I always wondered where the sunset ends Okay, quick update. We have made it to Arkansas, day two, and it's sunny. We haven't seen the sun. I hate talking about the weather, but I'm going to talk about it. We haven't seen the sun in Toronto in ages and it's feeling warm and so nice. Wait, and I want to with a statistic. Normally at this time every year, we see about 300 hours of sun in Toronto. And this year we've only seen 30 hours of sun and it's almost February, it was a month. So not to be dramatic, but woo! 
Also, in true amazing American fashion, coffee the size of my head. Perfect. <laughs> basically sleeping already <laughs> even though I was just driving <laughs> which probably isn't great but we've made it to Oklahoma City and I hope tomorrow we can make it all the way to Phoenix it says it'll be 14 hours but if we make it there then that means that maybe the next day we can cross the border what do you think Tal? I think we can do it. I think so too. That's pretty crazy because that means like it basically only took us three days to get there. Okay, I shouldn't I shouldn't get ahead of myself. <laughs> and also then it's still two days of driving down the peninsula. Mm-hmm. But just like to get into Mexico. Anyways, alright, we'll see you tomorrow. did not sleep last night. I don't know what it is, but for the first night in the van, we're always a little bit paranoid about all the sounds we hear. Anyway, let's just get back on the road. trip through America is complete without eating a massive impossible burger from mm -hmm. Burger King. Mm -hmm. But in Canada you get one of these and it's like half the size mm -hmm. and it just doesn't taste as good, right? Well, this like really, this really tastes I don't like know, a burger. there's something going on with this one. They're lying. I, God, I hope not. Yeah, I know. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we're gonna stuff our faces. I'm holding the camera's microphone because it broke. It can no longer attach to the camera. I don't think this is very sustainable, but we're gonna do it for now. So I am logging on here live, not live. I'm reporting to you from New Mexico. We are almost crossing into Arizona, but we have had somewhat of an eventful day that we didn't show you because, well, frankly, I was naked. <laughs> <laughs> a few hours ago, I was using our beloved pea funnel, and I don't know what happened. Something pinched, and I got like a sharp, sharp, intense pain in my lower back. I don't know if any of you have had like sciatica nerve pain, but that's what it felt like. Like my my legs, both my legs, it just like. I couldn't move and like I've had pains like that in the past where like you kind of just pinch a nerve in your back and you're like ah this one was really bad like Maddie had to help me up um so I haven't been that useful in driving today we just stopped at a Walgreens because I needed to get some pain medication 
we have Tylenol, but I needed some of that anti-inflammatory stuff because that's what's happening in my back. So I'm really bummed about that. And the other thing, as you can see, I have a cough drop in because I'm having a bit of a sore throat. Spirits are still high over here though, honestly. It's just that kind of day. Let all of that be the worst that happens though. Okay, we'll keep driving. Okay, I'm gonna update you guys quickly because I feel like we kind of just dropped the ball. <laughs> so yeah, we got to Phoenix. We thought it was gonna be a quick in and out, but obviously that's not what happens in van life. So yeah, we went to Trader Joe's. We got a bunch of food, put it away all nice and neat, which I love so much. And then as we showed you, our mic on the camera broke. We went to Best Buy, we went to two Best, we went to three Best Buys. <laughs> All for you, because we love you and we want you to hear us. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, you can hear us. Mike is on. And we're gonna just keep driving as close to the border as we can get so that we can have some time to cook some dinner, unwind, and take a break from driving around. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. So we have made it from Phoenix to Yuma. It's a town in Arizona just before the border crossing into Mexico. We were gonna try and find a spot in the desert somewhere, but my back is not feeling well and Maddie has been pulling the weight in driving. So we just pulled into uh, our favorite place in the world, Walmart. <laughs> I love this Walmart. Look how pretty it is out there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> That was a drive across America Yeah. in three days. Three days? What day is it today? Yeah. I don't even know. It's all blending together. <laughs> yeah. Three days. First night, Nashville. Second night, Oklahoma. This is for my own memory, by the way. And the third night, night yeah. was close to Phoenix. Oh, yeah. No, so this is the fourth night. Yeah, uh, so third day. This is the third full day. Wait. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This, no, this is, is the, the fourth, fourth day. day. <laughs> I knew it was wrong. Okay, oh four God. days. Okay, that makes more we sense. We did take our time today. Yeah. But we've basically just been driving. And you would think that driving isn't that tiring, but I am exhausted. <laughs> basically, everything's taken a back seat because our main priority has just been to drive, drive, drive. Yeah. Which is great because tomorrow we're going into Mexico and we were just so eager to, to make that happen ASAP. Yeah. So. So, we'll see you next week for. Down Under. This girl needs to go to bed. We'll see you next week. Love you. From our favorite place ever! Bye. Hope we made you smile. Now I'm all pumped up. I was so tired, but now I'm so excited thinking about where we are. I forgot for a second, and now I know where we are and it's where easy we're going to forget. tomorrow. All of our window covers are up, and, and we're just in our van. Yeah. Peace and love. Peace, peace, and love. Peace and love. Peace, peace, and love. Peace, peace, and love. <laughs> That's our back door just opening. <laughs> what? Didn't you hear that? Yeah, what was it? Yeah, it's the back door opening. <laughs> That's fine. I thought you meant it was actually opening. What, like an intruder? <laughs> <laughs>